three wishes will be granted if you catch a leprechaun. Sounded like an easy task to me. I set about to catch one and to get that pot of gold. I thanked the lad and then I'd set him free. On the stage was playing a local Irish band. An Irish dancer jigging across the floor. Looking past the dancer, I first saw him. In the shadows, crouched beside the door. In the countryside of Ireland, they live, the story goes. In hollow trees and burrows in the ground. Just two or three feet tall, with beards and hats upon their heads. The Irish leprechaun can still be found. His eyes were on the dancer as she tapped in perfect time. A treble jig the music from the band. So sure he was a leprechaun, I grabbed him by the arm. He pulled away, he bit me on the hand. He danced a little jig, a very wily lad was he, and tipped his hat as he went out the door. And the dancer kept a dancing to the tunes the band did play. And with that leprechaun, my pot of gold slipped away. In the countryside of Ireland, they live, the story goes. In hollow trees and burrows in the ground. Just two or three feet tall, with beards and hats upon their heads. The Irish leprechaun can still be found. Yes, the Irish leprechaun can still be found.